You know, I'm just thinking right now, like, it's like Twitter yeah. exists yeah. to beat your wounds in the face and have you react mm. immediately. For sure. And that's, For sure. you know what I'm saying? For sure. Have you ever been on Twitter? Yeah. It's a cesspool. Briefly. It's the I, worst. I tried to get on. Back and forth. To get, like, there's, there's an academic Twitter. And so I. Oh, really? Yeah. There's, like, this whole, like, I'm, like, uh, directors of teaching excellence. So okay. I do this part-time thing at the university, director of teaching excellence. All these directors of teaching excellence have Twitter accounts and they share resources. But then I sort of, like all sorts of twitter there's all these sub twitters right so that there's black twitter there's academic twitter there's I've heard conservative that. twitter catholic people say catholic, catholic twitter. twitter now these things start convert man it is i could not handle it long man i but the isn't still funny, there, but like, i haven't looked it's almost like it's so popular because as one person said to me humility rarely goes viral mm. so if you want to do well on twitter you have to say inflammatory things which i've done I'm sure. And you have to respond yeah. in an inflammatory way. They have this thing on Twitter where yeah. you quote tweet somebody. Okay. So you can like say something about somebody's tweet. Okay. That okay. exists that. solely, almost exclusively, to slam dunk somebody else's mm. stupid thing. Poke their thing. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I love what you said there. About two months ago, I stopped reading YouTube comments. Mm -hmm. Change, yeah. change everything. No, I think so. Because now I what so. I do is I go to people who I love and who I trust their opinion, not some dude with three YouTube followers dude. who said something inflammatory. Dude. I'm like, Neil, did I just cut that guy off way too much in that interview? Or, yeah, or yeah, did yeah, I just, yeah, did I cross yeah. a line? Yes. And I, I love that feedback yes. from because I want that feedback. But if you're like, it's almost like YouTube is a microcosm for life. If I'm just going to respond to a billion yeah. external yeah, stimulus, yeah, yeah, stim, yeah, you know, yeah, stimuli, yeah, yeah. I won't know who yeah. I am or what I'm doing. I certainly won't be free. And the things you're going to zero in on, by the way, Potentially, the things you zero in on are the things that like poke our wounds the most. Yeah, totally. And so, what I want is I want freedom. I want to be able to. I want to be able to not have to bite on every <laughs> comment that's critical of me. <laughs> yeah. I want to be able to to not have to bite on that. You know, that guy talks yeah. too much. That guy's an idiot. That guy. And I want to. I'm going to show you how I'm not an idiot. I'm going right, to yeah. tell you about my degrees, and I'm going to show. I'm going to use big words. And I'm gonna, mm -hmm. Instead of just saying like, you know what? Gosh, that. That hurts. That definitely kind of pokes that old wound. But the freedom is to be able to say, I don't have to respond. I'm not a slave to my environment anymore, right? So either, either we're free, and that means I can respond how and to what degree and when I want, or I'm a slave to my environment. And yeah. that means that if you say something I don't like, I have to respond. If you poke a wound, I have to respond. If you touch an insecurity, I have to respond. If you, mm. I don't want to be the plaything of life. I don't want Ooh. life to be... Right? Fantastic. People have these puppet strings on me. And what I want to do is I want to cut them and I want to have the freedom to go where God calls me and to respond the way God wants me to respond. And to, and that means oftentimes I bring my hurts and I bring my wounds and I bring bad feelings with me. Right? It's not about getting rid of those. Yeah. Right? Um, can I walk into a room? Can I walk into a party? Can I walk into a classroom? I love that. And yeah. be... So uh, what you're saying is... You're not free when the bad feelings cease. You're free when you're not reacting immediately to that bad feeling. You're yeah, more you're yeah, self aware yeah, yeah. of yes. what's going on. Yeah. I think healing healing isn't just freedom from bad feelings, right? Sometimes we get that. Sometimes we get that, and that that can be helpful. And God does this, yeah. and for sure, purgatory will do that if we don't get. Yeah, that if we don't get it here, we'll get yeah, we'll yeah. get it there. It's not just freedom from bad feelings, though. It's also freedom to respond, right? So Saint Paul is a great example of this. He he has this thorn in the flesh. Yeah. And, you know, there's debate over what this sure. is, but the Lord doesn't, at least, at least as long as we have St. Paul's letters, he doesn't seem to take it away during the time period that St. Paul's writing. And so we say, like, does God leave St. Paul unhealed? And I think the answer is no. I think what God gives St. Paul, or my grace is sufficient for you, I think what he gives him is the freedom to go wherever he calls him and not have to react to what to what people are doing or saying. So if, if it's lust, imagine it's lust or something like this. And God says, Hey, you're going to Rome. And he's like, well, I'm going to Rome. Like that place is a cesspool. You know, I gotta go to Rome. I can't go. I can't go to Rome. You see, I've got this wound. I got this freedom is being able to say, I'll go and I'll bring my suffering with me. Um, I'll go, I'll bring these uncomfortable feelings with me. I'll go and I'll bring these insecure thoughts with me. Most of what we do is we try to avoid bad thoughts, bad feelings, bad memories. And so our life becomes a life of avoiding bad things, right? Not, not like morally bad things, but just like uncomfortable mm -hmm. things. 
And I think what that does is that sets us up to be hurt by others. Like rather than recognizing I've actually set myself up to be hurt and how I approach people. So if I have to impress you, if I come in here today and I go, I got to impress Matt Fred, I got to mm-hmm. freaking impress this guy, right? I can't feel insecure. I can't feel stupid. I have to have an answer for everything. I got to impress this guy. If I'm looking at you across the table and I'm like, he doesn't seem impressed. Like he, and then I, I go home, I go, that guy's just dismissive, babe, man. He doesn't, right? If I have to impress you, I'm setting myself I up see. to be hurt by you. I see. Right? It's a setup job because you might not live up to what I think yeah. I need. Yeah. Right. Um, or if I need to, we do this, we pull in the opposite direction too. We'll pull back. We'll get shy and quiet. We'll just totally be reserved. I'm just not going to say anything because I don't want people to think I'm stupid. I don't want people to, to think that what I say is disinteresting. But then we feel isolated. We feel alone. We feel, and we say things like, well, people just don't want to hang out with me. People don't want to. You say, oh, well, it's because you're not putting yourself out there. You're Discerning not, that you're stuff setting is yourself so tough. Up. Yeah, it is. To what extent are we contributing Have to our Have you begun wounds? to realize when you'll say something to your wife, say at the end of the night, oh, like, is there like things that you say oh, yeah. that you then catch yourself? Because you've used that example a couple of times, which I really like. Yeah. Babe, like that guy was so. 100%. Yeah, it's almost like we 100%. should always stop and be like, what's that bringing up in me? 100%. So mm. I, whenever I'm feeling hurt or wounded or insecure, or I'm in the habit now of sort of saying, did I have an expectation? Did I come into a situation with an expectation? So I walk in, I think everyone, I expect everyone here to respect me. That's a setup. It's an absolute setup. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.